Well, my guest tonight uh, comes uh, all the way from Seattle, outside of Seattle, Washington. Will you please welcome Frank King? Give it up. Yes, and, and, and I must tell you, as Thor is often, I am uh, uh, depressed, and uh, I'll tell you why. Because I've made sort of a middle-aged discovery. I don't know if you can see this, but I've lost some hair. Can you see this? <laughs> Anybody know the medical term for this? It's hair peninsula. Can you see? Can you? <laughs> Anybody from Florida? This make you homesick? This a little vein running down there like Interstate 95. Can you? <laughs> You know, my greatest middle age fear in life is, my biggest middle age fear in life, it's going to break off and just be a little hair island out there. <laughs> little skin isthmus. <laughs> I have to take my comb, make a little bridge out to it. <laughs> Windy days be a drawbridge. It's a... <laughs> That is middle age, my friends. Oh, I've got a joke for you. I don't normally tell uh, a joke, an old joke, but this is uh, a personal favorite. I, 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 I did a show in uh, Medora, North Dakota. Anybody here from the Dakotas? Anybody familiar with Medora, North Dakota? They have a, 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 a summer-long festival. It's a variety show. But here's the joke. They gave me this joke I thought was really cute. It's kind of a farming joke. There's, there's a fella, and you can retell this. Uh, I like it because it's clean, it's physical, and uh, anyway, you'll see. The... The, they said there was this gentleman, young man out, and he was working the combine and had an accident and had, had his right arm cut off. And that's the bad news. The good news is they were able to reattach the arm. So he sees a, a buddy of his downtown, you know, a couple of weeks later, and the guy says, dude, heard you lost your arm and got it cut off in a combine accident, but the surgeon was able to reattach it. How'd the operation turn out? Great! <laughs> Yeah, I just, I love that joke. I, uh... Speaking of regions of the country, I am from North Carolina originally. I am uh, Tar Heels. Yes, yes. Uh, well, you know, uh, I miss, there's a couple things I miss living in the Northwest, having grown up in, in the Carolinas, and you'll appreciate this, I think. The, uh, the first thing is an expression that you hear down south you don't normally hear in the Northwest, which is this, bless his heart. <laughs> or bless her heart. Maybe you may not be aware of this, but, but, but it's a Southern disclaimer. You can say anything you want about anybody you want from the president on down, as long as you follow it with, bless his heart. Yeah, oh, he's as ugly as a mud fence, bless his heart. She's as dumb as a bag of hammers, bless her heart. Yes, oh, you know the other thing I miss? And you got them here. I was delighted to come to Columbus because you have these here, the Waffle House. There you go. I'll tell you why I like the Waffle House so much. Here's why. Because if you sit at the counter at the Waffle House, and why would you ever sit anywhere else, you can actually watch your meal being prepared. There's nothing standing between you and the grill but the cook slash parolee. Oh, yeah. It's, it's dinner and the show. Now... People all the time ask me where comedy comes from. Where does comedy come from? Comedy, com oh, comedy comes from my foot. Comedy comes from, from asking yourself this question. What's wrong with this picture? And here's a classic example. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. Are you familiar with Raleigh? I, I'm also from Raleigh, yes. yes. I'm driving into town, into Raleigh, North Carolina, from the airport. You've got to pass this Waffle House to get to the comedy club. So I'm driving by, and they've got a big sign in the window. Now, remember, comedy comes from this question. What's wrong with this picture? I drive by the, the sign of the window at the Waffle House says this. Now accepting applications. Accepting applications. Do you realize what that implies? That implies at some point in time, the Waffle House actually turns people down. <laughs> so if, if we extrapolate, that means the folks you see behind the counter are apparently the cream of the crop. <laughs> Does that frighten anybody but me? I'm driving to the comedy club thinking, why would they turn you down for employment at the Casa de la Waffle? Because you've got too many teeth? Have you seen the good folks, bless their hearts? 
who work behind the counter at the, it should be called the Waffle Halfway House, shouldn't it? 